Hello and welcome to another of Consulting B1's presentations. In this session, we will learn more about price lists. This session will help you understand the concept of price lists and pricing. We will explore how pricing is handled in SAP Business One, and also we will take a look at the type of prices that can be set up for items in the system. We will talk about the items and how the price list affects them. We will look at how those prices are associated with the business partner and how these prices can be brought into a document. So to set up your price lists and take a look at them, you need to go into your inventory module, click on the price lists, and there we can see different sections of the price list module. So we have our price lists, we have period and volume discounts, we have discount groups, special prices, the option to update parent items prices globally and the prices update wizard so we will talk about all of these sub modules individually let us assume that your company uses price lists for different groups of customers some customers such as very important customers may receive some special pricing in addition to these pricings they may also receive discounts that are based on item groups or the properties of the item that are being sold periodically they may get extra discounts on the list price based on the volume they're purchasing or during a sales event. Within SAP Business One, businesses have the need for flexibility in pricing for different customers with a different price based on their circumstances of sale. For example, a one-time customer pays a higher price than a regular customer or one of your resellers is buying a large volume and he will get a higher price. All of these examples and all of these circumstances will use a different price list. Some of them will be a special price, some of them will be set during the period and volume discounts, some of them will be used with discount groups, or we will define a special price for each business partner. Those are all circumstances that can be seen in real life examples and can be handled through SAP Business One easily. So by opening up the price list submodule, I see a list of all of my sub sub. I see a list of all of my price lists that I currently have in the system and I see their statistics and how they work and in which way. Now let's talk about the period and volume discounts. The base price for the product may not be enough. You may want to set up sales prices for a limited time period. You may want to do a discount when a customer buys in a specific period or in a specific volume. Period and volume discounts allow you to define discounts based on dates or based on volumes. This is very useful when a company is dealing with a large number of customers buying a large amount and large quantities of the goods. So what we can see, if we were to go into the period and volume discounts, we can see that we get a selection, so choose a price list that we want to work with, select a specific item that we wish to add a discount to, it's going to import all of the data that is related to this price list. We're going to select our price source and we can set the period and volume discount to be active from which date to which date. I'm going to click on add and I'm going to update unchanged rows. Click on yes and my period and volume discount has been created successfully. So if I wish to create another one, so I'm going to select the base price discounts once again add a new item to the period and volume discount to be in a specific time period of let's say the next week I can do so and this period and volume discount will be active until next week I can also change the source price of this item if I wish to do so simply click on update if I wish to add more items I'm gonna add multiple items I can use this function, so I'm going to add all of the items from this item to this item, vendor doesn't matter to me right now, simply going to, going to add all of those items once again from the base price price list. With discount groups we can define discount percentages with the item group properties or manufacturers. So for example, let's say you want to give a better deal to one of your favorite customers. In that case, on top of the period and volume discount that you might use, you might need to use the special prices for business partners. After clicking on that, I'm going to get prompted with the window that's simply going to ask me to input a business partner with the business partner code. Define the discount in percentages or even specify a specific item that I want to offer the discount for. 
I can even set the discount to be active for a specific period of time. I can simply click on add and my discount has been added. You can base your discounts on any price list or simply enter them manually. You can define discounts by a date range or quantities and the unit of measure as you just saw in the example prior. Special prices defined for a business partner overrides all other prices. That means this is the highest priority that is given to any of the other price lists. However, please note that the unit of measure defined in the special prices must match the unit of measure specified in the row for the discount to be applied. So let's repeat that. The system will first check the special prices for the business partners, then come out to discount groups, then pull period and volume discounts, and then the price list itself. So managing multiple price lists allows you to provide flexibility in your pricing. For example, you want to offer customers that make regular purchases from you or who purchase larger quantities an ability to buy at a lower price than the customer who only makes occasional purchases or purchase small quantities to give them a different price. Now let us see in SAP Business One how it will look like. If I was to go into the item master data, select an item, I can simply go in here, click on the price list, and I will see a list of all of my price lists that I have in my system. So when we look into SAP Business One, we can see that we can see a different price for this item. As we can see here, the unit price changes as I change the price list. So if I set the discount purchase price, it would be $50. But if I was to set a small account sales price, it would be $87 per unit. Two of the default price lists are maintained by the system and cannot be maintained by the user and that is the last evaluated price and the last purchase price. However, even though it is possible, you may not wish to maintain pricing for other prices directly in the item master data because it overrides the automatic pricing in a price list. Now, one way that I can set price lists is by going into the business partner master data, bringing up my business partner, opening up the payment terms and inside the payment terms I can see the price list that is used by default for this business partner. When you create a business partner a price list is assigned to each of those business partners. Price lists can be default from the customers or customer groups or we can assign them through the payment terms. If we don't assign a price list to the business partner the price list will be given automatically by the customer term by the customer group. So summing all of the things, there are four types of pricing in SAP Business One. Price lists, period and volume discounts, discount groups, and special pricing for business partners. So once again, when we go into the inventory, go into the price lists, you can see four different main pricings in SAP Business One. Our price lists, our period and volume discounts, our discount groups, and special pricing for business partners. When you create a document, the system brings in the price list associated with the business partner to the header of the document. You can view the assigned price list in the form setting window. You can change the assigned price list in the document either by changing it directly or by choosing different payment terms. As we enter items in the document, the system proposes a price for each item based on the price list as we saw in the item master data. So just a reminder, the the system will look first for the most specific price and continue until it finds an applicable price. The pricing hierarchy order is as follows. A special price for a business partner, discount groups, period and volume discounts based on price lists associated with the document, and finally, prices from the price list. The price source field shows us the source of the price and discounts in the document row. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.